it's product review time. We've got one unit here to give away to one of you guys and one here for me to take apart, test and use and see what makes this thing tick. So if you are anything like me, I took, a, I normally don't say yes to every product reviewer that comes to me and wants me to plug their product. But if you're anything like me, I'm still dealing with dead batteries uh, as if it's 1965. So I still have my old battery charger and my old worn out jumper cables. And I should have gotten one of these like 10 years ago because there is a better way to deal with dead batteries. All right, I just want to show something while it's still fresh on my mind. Uh, so here's my old uh, set of jumper wires. And uh, at first glance, you might think be, be thinking, hey, the wire on this new product is thinner than this old 1980s product. Well, that's no good. Well, just take a peek at what's actually inside of here. Can you, can you get that? Can you see it? Look at that, how thick that insulation is. This is like a goddamn spark plug wire. This ain't no, this is like barely, this is like 16 gauge wire. What the hell? I don't know. Somehow this thing hasn't, I guess it's not a, a jump wire. It's more of like a kind of slowly charge the dead battery wire. Anyway, so it was nice to see on this new product, um, they actually have some printing right on the wire. It's labeled as eight gauge. Hopefully you can get that in the view. It feels nice though. It's like silicone. Oh, it's that nice flexible rubbery kind of wire and it's nicely anchored in here so it won't come apart like this crusty old wire did and you can see it follow it up in there it does go to a crimp connector and it's fastened down to the grippy bits we even got a little wire to come along to make sure both sides of the clamp uh is seeing uh, power so i just wanted to kind of cover that while i was thinking about it it's just uh, so much nicer look at that Okay, so now I got the wire finish out of the way. Let's look at the actual product. So what is this thing I'm talking about today? It's a jump pack. Uh, it's basically for, you got a dead battery, um, this will start your car. That's that's the simple gist of it, but this one's a little bit more than that. Um, it's actually, it's got a lot of useful features. We're going we're gonna to go over that today. Anyway, so you have your USB ports. If you're out in the middle of nowhere, you have a dead car battery and a dead cell phone, you can charge your phone back up. Here's the connector for where the main uh, jump part plugs in so you can keep this part separate. Uh, and the input is a USB-C. So you can charge this with your cell phone charger, which is cool. You don't need a special charge to charge it. Uh, and a couple of my favorite features is, well, it's got a flashlight. Um, and it's actually not bad, too. If you look in there, you can actually see, I think it's six main dies. And I think there's even another, let me turn it on. See if that will blind us. Okay, yeah, so there's six main dies. They could have cheaped out and just put one LED. Oh, that was the SOS. Uh, they could have cheaped out and just put one LED in there and said, hey, we got a flashlight. But no, they put in six. That's cool. It is bright. So this would be great if you're uh, stranded somewhere in the middle of nowhere with no light uh, and a dead battery. You can start your car. You can charge your cell phone. You can see what you're working on. Uh, but it has this DC out. So what I did is I made myself just an adapter cable, just two barrel and connectors uh, to use this DC jack to power my uh, soldering iron. So now I have a portable soldering iron. I don't have to worry about chasing down uh, extension cord or an outlet. Um, I can be in the middle of a parking lot or whatever. It don't matter. I've, I'll have power anywhere with this. And if it's nighttime, well, I can turn on the light. And work so these two items and this soldering iron is what i covered uh, just a couple weeks ago these are the two items i'm going to be keeping in my uh of like a portable mobile emergency uh toolbox um these two make a great pair so this uh dc jack can power just about anything with a barrel connector um and as far as the output voltage here's the specs i'll try to get that in camera so the DC port is 16 volts, um, and here's the specs for the USB ports. One of the USB ports are at two amps at five volts. Uh, the other is five volts at three amps. Uh, wait a minute, it does nine volt and 12 volt. Oh, so USB one um, is, 
what do you call that, where it can, it's a form of fast charging uh, where it raises the voltage above uh, five um, USB standard. Slip my mind anyways, I'm sure somebody will know what I'm talking about, but the DC, um, sorry, the USB port goes up to 12 volts at one and a half amps, so that is cool. And then your input is, you can take five volts at three amps or nine volts at two amps to charge it. Now here's where it get kind of funny. It says it's 10,000 milliamp hours. Uh, the capacity but that's at 3.7 volts so that would mean just one of the cells is 10,000 milliamp hours uh, but this has to be a three cell unit in order to get that 16 volt uh, output of course that's what it's going to be using as a jump is 16 volts um, no reason to, to panic about 16 volts. Uh, automotive applications are designed to go up to 16, but once this is hooked up to a dead battery, uh, you're probably not actually gonna see 16 volts. Um, but I'm gonna take this unit apart and see what's going on here. Is it really 10,000 milliamps for each cell? Uh, let's find out. I had to use my Nintendo tool bit kit. This is labeled a TR6. But that's the security screw that they're using to keep people out of this. I'll try not to let that stop me. I guess you've got some screws hidden under this label. I don't feel any bumps, but there is something right here under this part number model or uh, serial number or something maybe a little bit of a groove right there I'm trying to see if there's any more hidden screws come on top down come apart that's what it's called top down maybe from now on I'll just refer to this as Don Donnie this thing's out of its element all right, with a little bit of uh, off-camera prying and poking and pushing, I got it to open up. So there's the six LEDs right there anyways. Okay, so the battery. This is the main, the main business end, what we're here for. Let's see what this battery actually is. There's some writing under this thing here. Oops, the label's starting to peel on me. I gotta try to get it so it uh, comes off clean so I can see that number. 14.8. Okay, so I did get the battery completely free. And now just a disclaimer, don't do this at home. Messing around with lithium batteries is uh, not a good idea. These things get angry when things go wrong. So I'm doing it so you don't have to. Uh, there's no writing on the back. The only thing there is is just this part number, and the part number is just part of the physical size because it is uh, 80 millimeters. Can you get that? Uh, so it is 80 millimeters by 60 millimeters. Um, there's nothing here about the capacity. Uh, just going off of the physical size, this isn't going to be a 10,000 milliamp hour uh three cell battery uh, if it was the battery itself would be physically larger than the entire unit and uh so i guess uh, you know take that information with how you will or fudging the numbers just like everything else on amazon uh, with the capacity but i'm not going to completely disregard it because of the inflated numbers um i'll still give this thing a chance we'll see if it actually will start a car but here you can see the main actual power wires those are also nice and thick. I think they uh, look to be the exact same gauge. Yeah, so it looks like eight gauge coming out of the battery under the board and then to this connector. That looks well done. I can see that carrying a lot of current. And here's the, the balance leads. Got it unplugged right now. But I'm gonna put this thing back together because I actually like it. And we're gonna test it. We're gonna see if this thing can start a car. Unfortunately, this end here doesn't come apart. There's no screws. Uh, it's probably sonic welded or something like that. Uh, so I'm not gonna take this end apart, but um, 
when I uh, plug it in and, and turn it on, I do hear a big thunk of a relay. So inside of here is, uh, let's see if I can make it happen. Yeah, did you hear that? Uh, inside of here is there some sort of battery management uh, and reverse polarity protection. So it has a reverse light and a correct light and then a boost button. But uh, since the battery goes directly to these terminals, I'm sure this has like low voltage cutoff uh, besides the reverse polarity protection. I think it might have short circuit protection too. All right, so here we are. Yes, it does have uh, short circuit protection, uh, over discharge protection. So that's the uh, LiPo cutoff I was talking about earlier, reverse polarity protection, over temperature protection. So it looks like this thing might be safer than uh, regular old jumper cables because this is smart enough to know not to apply power until things are right. On the box, it claims it can start up to a six and a half liter gas engine or a four liter, liter diesel. Um, pretty big claims. I'm not gonna be able to test those engine sizes, but I can test them on a smaller car. And here in the picture, they show the DC jack being used on uh, a cigarette lighter port adapter and they're running those little, little air compressor. Um, so that's kind of a slick idea and it, that would, a little air compressor would probably push the limits of that DC jack. It claims the DC port is good for 10 amps um, at 16 volts. These barrel jacks have limits, and uh, I might be pushing it running an air compressor, but if they say so, hmm. Sorry I've neglected you for so long, car. But I think we have a good candidate for a dead battery. Just gotta chase the mice out. Oh, look at that cobweb back there. We get you see that? Uh oh, I gotta clean this car out. Poor guy. All right, anyways, let's try out that jump pack. I don't want anyone to steal my cassette player. I better take the face off. Uh, so that's where my fuzz buster went. Okay, so the battery has enough charge to turn on the radio and electronics and stuff. And I hear the fuel pump priming, but not quite enough charge. Come on, maybe. Oh, I just heard a click. Okay, so not enough to, uh, been sitting for a long time so it needs a little extra cranking to get the uh, fuel system primed and whatnot um try one more time here and she's dead okay so let's hook up that jump back okay so that is where that goes Negative, negative, positive, positive, and I believe I've turned it on, and then the flashing, I think, I think solid green means it's ready to go. I heard a click, right, 100%, solid green, let's turn it over. Should notice the difference right away. Oh hell yeah! Huh, that spun over fast. 16 volts definitely uh, gets the motor moving. All right. Damn squirrels use my battery as a dinner table. Just gonna let this thing charge up for a minute. Well, this guy had no trouble turning over my little 1.9 liter. Um, it's never turned over so fast before. 
I think I was wrong before. I said it was a three cell battery. It's actually a four cell battery because a three cell would only be 11 volts, but this is a four cell. And uh, judging by how effortlessly it turned over my car, I'm sure it would have no trouble with just the average car out there. Also comes with a USB-C. This is for charging, which would be here. Yeah, that's a charger. So after all of my messing around today, we're at 75%. I did use a little juice up on it today. Um, so now for the giveaway details. Um, now, I know I've had some belly aching from the peanut gallery before since I'm only going to be shipping to the lower 48 states. I will probably open that up later, but since this is a large lithium battery, there's going to be restrictions on uh, how it's shipped, so it has to go ground. So 24 hours from now, I will randomly select a comment, uh, and I will contact you, not some random stranger. It'll be me, Jeff Escort LX, uh, not some weird person you never heard of before saying you want. It's going to be me, so don't get tricked by the scams that are out there. But anyways, I'll contact you within 24 hours, and I'll collect your information at that point. So um, if you don't hear from me at this uh, same time tomorrow, then you didn't win. I'm sorry, but I'll have a link down below to purchase one of these if you want to purchase one it'll be an amazon affiliate link and uh i love this little guy i'm gonna be i'm definitely keeping this one in my normal arsenal of uh tools um yeah i think i covered everything there is to cover on this guy uh well hope you win thanks for watching we'll see you next time